In this lesson, we continue to look at what influences the physical properties like boiling point, vapor pressure, and melting point of an organic compound, okay? And today, or in this lesson, we will be looking at structure, the shape, or the degree of branching. So this is talking about whether an organic compound is a straight chain compound, like this one over here, versus something that has a high degree of branching, so a lot of branching. I hope you can see the difference between these two compounds. I want you to, to take note of and be aware of the fact that this compound over here has got three, four, five carbons and 12 hydrogens. This is pentane, okay? But the one at the bottom has also got five carbons and 12 hydrogens. However, this one is not pentane. It is 2,2-dimethylpropane. If you need help with naming organic compounds and understanding how to do that, I have lots of videos on that. Just look at the link in the description box below. Can you see that they have the same number of hydrogens, carbons? Therefore, they would have the same molecular mass. But pentane has a straighter, longer chain. There's no branching. And 2,2 dimethylpropane has two branches. So this one is way more branched than, the, than this one. And that actually affects the shape. It affects the surface area. And therefore, the strength of the intermolecular forces in the two compounds, which ultimately affects its boiling point, melting point, and vapor pressure. So what actually happens is the more branched a hydrocarbon is, the lower its boiling point. The reason why is because if it has more branches, it's more compact, it's more spherical, it has a smaller surface area. So think it's not long like this, it's got a more compact, spherical, smaller surface area which means that there will be less intermolecular forces because there's less contact points. The molecules cannot draw as closely together as when we have two straight long chains. The molecules can draw closer together like this. If I have two spherical things like this with a lower surface area, it's more difficult for them to draw closely together. Instead of explaining it like this, this is just more for understanding, you will explain it like this. So the lower the degree of branching, the less branched, so something that has just a straight long chain like this, because it's less branched and it is a straight chain, it has a bigger surface area, this is important, which means it has more intermolecular forces, therefore stronger intermolecular forces. And remember what we said about strength of intermolecular forces. The stronger the intermolecular forces, the more energy you need to overcome those intermolecular forces, which means that your boiling point will be higher, your melting point will be higher. And because it's more difficult to overcome the intermolecular forces, because you need more energy, there'll be less vapor, because it's more difficult to get it from a liquid phase to a gas phase. So it will be less vapor, therefore lower vapor pressure. And in the same way, we can speak about if there's a higher degree of branching. So if something is more branched, so instead of five carbons in a long chain, maybe we have a branch like this. So a higher degree of branching, smaller surface area. So there's less intermolecular forces, which means that the intermolecular forces are weaker and if you have weaker intermolecular forces, you need less energy to overcome the intermolecular forces. If they're weaker, you don't need a lot of energy. It's easier to overcome them, less energy, which means they have a lower boiling point, lower melting point, but higher vapor pressure because it will be easy to get them from that liquid state because they have weak intermolecular forces into the vapor state, the gaseous phase. So if I had to rank A, B, and C according to their boiling point, so start with the one that has the lowest boiling point and end with the one that has the highest boiling point, what would you say? Which one has the lowest boiling point? You would say C has the lowest boiling point because it has the most branching. It's got one, two branches. Then you would say A because it's only got one branch. And then the highest boiling point would go to B because it has no branches. And take note, in each of them, there's six carbons, C6 and H14 in all of them. So they are all, they all have the same molecular mass. They have the same number of carbons, same number of hydrogens. They have the same type of intermolecular forces, London only forces. The only difference is the shape or the degree of branching. I hope that this video was helpful. If you want to look at any of the other factors that influence physical properties, check out the other videos in this playlist, and I hope to see you in another video very soon.
Bye, everybody.